I'm interviewing you and I'm a fan of your channel. It's no different than anyone else. I don't feel any different than anyone else talking to you, doing a video. But yet when I write a comment, it's like, Greg's being a oh, drama queen. And I'm like, hey, I'm a circle, not a queen. Okay, me and everyone in the world, we want to know what is this sauna background? What is the <laughs> scoop? What is the deal? You need to tell us this. The people want to know. Um, so it's actually kind of interesting because this thing, well, like it sort of made itself like a meme or like this big uh, I don't know, it like built itself in that like i've always filmed in front of this and then over the years i guess people have become very accustomed to it they wanted to know you know what is this thing behind me is this a green screen it's in fact not a green screen it's actually like solid wood um and what is it exactly um interestingly enough like enough oh you, you clicked the you did this yeah oh there it is yep keep going i can hear you i think i think we're back yeah, we're back. I have a very, I have a very touchy wire attached to this mic, apparently, where I can't even literally put my hand Touch on it. it. So yeah, I'll try, I'll try and be careful. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so like over the years, I've like where I record, it's not stayed the same. So I've gone to great lengths to try and like maintain this background, and I've sort of considered like, is it time I upgrade to something nicer? And I don't, I don't know to be honest, because it seems like. I don't think people care. And at the same time, I filmed in front of this thing for so long that I feel like it's like part of the channel at this point. And as far as like what it is, it, it you know, like the sauna thing is like the prevalent um, theory. And that's sort of like, like, to be honest, I think I, I have to do like a reveal where I'm going to like tour it. Like they want like a tour of the, of the studio sort of thing. That would be the video. Maybe like, I, yeah. So like that would be like, but at that point, does it like ruin the mystique sort of? You know, like, I'm not, I'm not sure if I, if I should, that's the well, thing. Well, from personal experience, I've moved three different times while doing my channel. And yeah. every time I move, people get mad every single time. I like the first one's the bike going on the background, the whole thing. And I move to another apartment, then they get used to that. And then you move again, they get mad. And then every time I've moved, they've gotten used to whatever the new place is and they don't care. So you'll probably get pushed, pushed back the first like week, but overall, I don't think it's going to matter. And I think that a tour of your house, like that would mix things up. People want to see that. Just like if you filmed yourself a yeah. uh, day in the life of Derek and you're going to the gym work, like people are going to watch that for sure. What are your favorite, least favorite types of videos that you do? Like, what do you really like doing? Is it TikTok stuff? Is it like natty or not? Is it just pure science based? Like, what do you personally enjoy the most? Not like what gets the best views. Like, what do you, Derek, like doing the most? Um okay so the reaction videos are easy to do so i but it's only in the context of if there's something that is high quality information that can be pulled out of it and i can relate it to like a practical application standpoint so i really like videos where somebody i don't know like somebody says something incorrect and you know i can go in there and give like actual high quality information to correct them not necessarily dunking on them or anything but if somebody like a celebrity is talking about potentially getting on trt and i can like go in there and you know talk about how to interpret blood work perhaps or something like that like the jeremy buendia one was like you know interesting to go over it was kind of long so it was not oh my, like God, my favorite it was to do but <laughs> but like i don't know like stuff like that like for example if i'm talking about uh um like ways to stay safe or like you know I, I really like talking about pharmacology anything that can be like a unique like it's it's tough because it's not very often you'll find a video to react to that then gives you a platform to catapult off of to talk about a novel like concept or some sort of like i don't know how to stay safe without it i don't know like i there's a fine line of being boring and being like pure entertainment my favorite videos are the ones where they're just like pretty much like volleying me to do like a spike, you know, of just like perfectly executed entertainment plus information. And I feel like no one could complain about like the outcome of it. It's, it's, it's not like it's a specific, like, Oh, it's TikToks I like doing, or it's this or that. It's kind of just like when somebody sets me up perfectly, those are the ones I like the most. And sometimes they're TikToks, Sometimes they are, I don't know, like a, a news article that I'm reacting to. Sometimes it's the subreddit. It kind of depends, but like in general, it's like, 
like if I can bring up something new to the to the discussion too, like talking about like angiotensin receptor blockers to protect your heart when you're taking anabolics, like no one's really talking about that kind of stuff. So like talking about how to stay safe and prevent, you know, left ventricular hypertrophy or prevent high blood pressure or do a cycle in like a safer way or how to go about interpreting your blood work, how to order high quality diagnostics, like what to look for in a doctor. But then it's not boring because I'm like reacting to something that's like set me up well those are my favorite videos and i don't know like the ones that i hate doing the most are just the ones that, like the stallone videos you know where it's just like so like i i think it's fake but like do you yeah, like right. all the co all the comments help the algorithm so like everyone comment as much as you can and it's just like everyone's commenting helps me and they know it helps me so that's why they do it and like i appreciate that a lot but it's like we all know i think everyone's like aware it's like mindless entertainment and that's fine like mindless entertainment's like good once in a while it's just like it's not my my favorite thing to make it's just one of those things i like have to do to kind of like push up the other stuff because like i think you know as well as i that the frequency plus the algorithm pushing of everything influences to your your high quality stuff in a favorable way that might not otherwise do as well i don't know like do you have a uh, like, what's your opinion on like favorite videos versus not favorite? Well, first of all, speaking of the uh, the commenting and the algorithm, I'll literally go and write in your comment section and yeah. be like, oh, I'm going to help the algorithm too. Like, I'm just like everyone else. People think, oh, yeah. I have a million followers. I'm like everyone else. I'm watching the video. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm like writing a comment. And then all of a sudden there's like 20 comments. Get out of here. You suck. Yeah. Derek's better than you. And I'm like, I'm just trying to help him out in the comment section, just like you, dude. Like, yeah. And, but they're they hate on you for it i'm like i'm just like a fan watching the like i'm interviewing you and i'm a fan of your channel there's no different than anyone else i don't feel any different than anyone else talking to you doing a video but yet when i write a comment it's like greg's being a dick drama queen and i'm like hey i'm a circle yeah. not a queen but like yeah. you know what i mean do you get that like i don't think pe i think pe more people hate me than you because I, I kind of like we're here and I kind of got to the million first. So I got shit on first and I'm like scared. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. is Derek eventually going to get a million and people are going to start shitting on him? Like, how dare you pick on a TikToker? You know, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like they could completely flip like on a snap of a finger. Like you're just, you're being mean to that person for scooping eight scoops of pre-workout. You shouldn't comment. Like, you know what I mean? They could say yeah. anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely think there was a point where people were like not getting that we have sort of like a like uh we help each other relationship rather than like a who does better on the same topic. Like I think they're they viewed it as like a lot of like the heart some people that didn't like your content as much it wasn't I don't think it was as much they didn't like it, it was more like they wanted me to beat you on the same topic sort of thing and they'd see it as a competition between us and they don't really get that we like promote each other very heavily and it's like a symbiotic relationship in that it's like you know obviously working in parallel for each other so i think it's becoming a bit more favorable because i used to notice like overall negativity in your threads and it's a bit better now i think because people see us like collaborating more and like, sharing seen, opinions. Like, yeah up and yeah. down like sometimes like people hate on me for a week or two and then they're a yeah. fan again then i do another video and i'm like oh they don't like me again because i didn't like what i said it kind of like goes up and down i do notice that quite a bit yeah yeah like uh I, I used to notice more volatility in your comment section about me than i do now it seems like very very favorable now so to the i don't know if it's just because we've talked well about each other so many times and now it's like okay like we get it there's no competition they actually like are trying to help each other sort of thing yeah like if they're your fan and my fan they're like well they're doing the same videos like both of us are doing a stallone video and i'm like my yeah. video wouldn't have got a million views had you not have made the video and kind of like made it interesting and then it's like well what's yeah. greg gonna say now so it kind of helps it we do the similar natty or nots on a lot of the same people and it's like yeah. i literally think that your videos promote my videos because if you get shown like a natty or not on whoever matt does fitness and then you type in that you might be shown my video next and i'm benefiting yeah. so i see this like you said symbiotic relationship i think i'm benefiting your success yeah. brings me success to me and my goal of my channel is literally like I call out the bullshit, like more spews for more views. Next time on Coach Greg. Like sitting, like I, that's a job for somebody. Like I should be paying somebody to scroll down, like get to the bottom of this 2000 post Instagram for me so I can look at what he used to look like. Yeah. Like that's the Pay case. Pay staff yeah. to just stand there and scroll for five <laughs> yeah. minutes. Cause that's five minutes I could have been doing something else. Like literally it would pay itself off. But the one video that we both did that I think is the most controversial of all 
is 